she possesses some of the qualities of character that I most respect in any individual and any leader. Courage, especially at a moment like this, where there are so many powerful forces that have been intent on trying to demean and belittle and make people afraid. And there are many who know it is wrong, and then there are those who have the courage to speak out loudly about it, and the conviction to speak truth. And, you know, it is so admirable when anyone does it, and especially when it is difficult to do in an environment such as this. But Liz Cheney really is a leader who puts country above party and above self, a true patriot, and it is my profound honor, my profound honor to have your support. As you said, we may not see eye to eye on every issue, um, and we are going to get back to a healthy two-party system, I am sure of that, where we will have vigorous debates. <laughs> Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. And the tragic truth, the tragic truth that we are facing in this election for President of the United States is that there is actually an honest question about whether one of the candidates will uphold the oath to the Constitution of the United States. I know the vast majority of us, regardless of your political party, agree we must hold sacred America's fundamental principles from the rule of law to free and fair elections to the peaceful transfer of power. Because the President of the United States must not look at our country through the narrow lens of ideology or petty partisanship or self-interest. The President of the United States must not look at our country as an instrument for their own ambitions. Our nation is not some spoil to be won. The United States of America is the greatest idea humanity ever devised. Well, I believe that in the global struggle between tyranny and democracy, the President of the United States must always be on the side of freedom. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.